Hi, I'm John Mayfield, the real estate tech guy with another Global Real Estate School podcast. Welcome to the podcast. I'm John Mayfield, the real estate tech guy, and we're going to talk math. That's right. I know people always want to say or ask, John, I want to get my real estate license, but I don't think I can pass the math. Well, let me just kind of put your mind at ease. There is math, but it's not that difficult of math. There are some things that you just have to try to memorize and and understand how to solve specific math problems, converting cubic feet and square feet and some other various issues. But all in all, most math is just add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And we teach a really cool concept in the Global Real Estate School program, our Math Made Easy section, about the T problem. The T problem allows you to really solve most of the math problems you will see on the real estate examination. But let's cover a math problem on today's podcast. And this is a math problem that would probably just scare you to no end. At least it does me. But that's asking a question about a room that's 12 feet wide by 12 feet long and 9 feet high. How many cubic feet are inside this specific room? You know, the the word cubic feet probably just terrifies you to no end, at least for some of us who do not like math. Cubic feet, what in the world? But it's really not that difficult of a problem. So here's how you solve it. You would take the length times the width times the height, and guess what? You now have the cubic feet. So 12 times 12 would give you the square footage of the room, and then take that square footage times the height, and now you have the cubic feet with inside that room. In fact, there's an exam question that says what would be the best method for determining uh, a warehouse. I can't remember the exact terminology or, or wording of the question, but you're actually in a warehouse, you're looking at the cubic feet because in a warehouse you will be, you will be stacking boxes on top of each other the air space up above the floor space is very critical and important for a warehouse, the cubic feet. In other words, it's the whole block of air that you're trying to calculate. So if you see a problem that wants to know about the cubic feet, how many cubic feet, the width, the length, and the height, you just multiply length times width times height, and now you have the cubic feet inside that room. Now, on tomorrow's podcast, we're going to take this up, as Imro would say, we're going to crank it up a notch and let you solve another cubic feet problem. Thank you for listening to the podcast for Global Real Estate School. I'm John Mayfield, the real estate tech guy. Go out and make it a great day.